It is day two of me flying my Phantom 3 drone. I've snuck out on the beach. It's seven in the morning. Figured not as many people here. And then we're gonna fly the drone again. Hopefully with a little more success than yesterday. We're still in Camel Beach, Phuket, Thailand. And I am just going to get the drone set up. And today what I wanna do is I want to switch off beginner mode, fly up and down the beach basically, and uh, and do a couple of maneuvers that will take the drone a little further away from me. So yesterday I made two mistakes. The first mistake was that I did not calibrate the compass, which is stupid really because I've seen lots of people do it on YouTube. I'm not sure how much it actually affected the flight yesterday, but definitely doing that today. The second thing was that I tried to land manually and I'm going to stick to the automatic landing for now. Oh wait, shoot, dogs. Wild dogs in the, on the beach right now <laughs> fighting. Just gonna turn on all these things here. That's on. And this time we are going to calibrate the compass. I think it's safe to fly now. Gonna arm the motors. We're hovering. Neat. It seems like a pretty good idea to just have it hover for a couple of minutes just to see if anything is wrong before you go flying it somewhere else. Let's just pan around and show you the wonderful Thailand morning. Let's try and go up. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, we're 90 meters up now. I have a bit of fear of heights. Getting a weaker signal because we're this high up. Let's go down to like 50 meters. It's gorgeous. And what I learned yesterday, looking from the footage, is that you kind of want to do these long pans and not like do too many jerky movements. Look at that sunrise, beautiful. Okay, we're about 200 meters out. Getting some wind. I can't even see it, I know, oh, there it is. I'm getting a lot less wind today than yesterday, which is which is considerably better. I'm gonna try something else. Amazing. I think that's what they call a drony, which is kind of like a selfie, but just with a drone. Yeah, you want to get these as long as you can pieces of footage. Great weather for flying. It's almost no wind. This looks amazing. I want to do this every morning. It's cool, you can just kind of explore the area. I mean, the closer you can actually get to the ocean, the more of an effect you'll get when you pull back, right? But also, the closer you'll be to the ocean. Just really, I think we're just kind of going to hang back here. Okay, let's bring you home. Got about five minutes left on the battery. The battery is pretty good. I mean, I've seen other drones where you fly them for 10 minutes and then it's done. an approach where I'm simultaneously also dropping in altitude. I want to do that slowly, you don't want to get any of those jarring movements into the video. We got a low power warning, so I'm going to return to base. See if we can land this thing more beautifully than we did yesterday. This time using the automatic landing. I'll land the aircraft. Let's see how that goes. Gently down. And done. Great. 24% left on the battery. I think it's it's one of those things where it's better. Better safe than sorry. I don't want to lose altitude over the ocean.
it is pretty noisy and it is pretty disruptive. And you really have to think about other people and uh, not just the safety of it, which is obviously is important. Like don't fly too close to people and, uh, and kind of try to be respectful. I tried to get up early in the morning so that not too many people were around. I think it's a controversial thing as well. Like, I still had like, one lady come up to me and be like, I don't like this. But I also had a guy come up to me and say like, I think this is amazing and uh, looking great. So definitely divides the waters. Sun has pretty much come up now. And I'm gonna close up the back. Charge up all the things. Oh, See you guys next time.